Good day, everyone. Welcome to my segment of the Planners in a Pod podcast, where I will be unpacking and exploring the various gendered experiences of safety within the city we find ourselves in, that is Johannesburg, and the implications for sustainable urban planning thereof. My name is Chidim Mamapa, known to many people by my second name, Dibuo, and I am a student pursuing an honors degree in urban and regional planning at the University of the Witwatersrand, Johannesburg. To start off the conversation, let's dig into and expand the topic a little bit and identify its relevance to urban planning. Safety is a fundamental part of urban development and sustainability. Urban safety is an essential dimension to realizing livable, productive, inclusive and sustainable cities. The sustainable city ensures that citizens enjoy a life free of danger but has the possibility of mobility and a good quality of life. The adverse ramifications stemming from rapid urbanization threaten sustainability, human security and peace in urban areas. It is imperative to understand factors that influence people's experiences and perceptions of safety in order to provide nuanced interventions and solutions that will enable us to realize Sustainable Development Goal 11, which views cities as engines of development and therefore needing to be inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. As such, It is important to gain local insight on how people planned for perceive the spaces in which they exist. Urban life is epitomized by the existence of a public place. Public places are where groups of people converge and socialize. However, for a place to fully be public, it must be safe. Increasingly, there has been evidence that men and women experience cities and public life in diverse ways, in different ways, thus requiring urban planning to be gender sensitive. Despite interest over recent decades in rejuvenating public spaces to stimulate their concerns around inaccessibility, the exclusion of particular groups as a result of the different perceptions of safety in these spaces remain largely unaddressed. What might the gender-inclusive city look like? This is a city designed to promote equality, safety and empowerment for all groups. Gender-inclusive cities prioritize safety and accessibility for everyone. The gender-inclusive city provisions for vulnerable groups such as women and sexual minorities. Safety, however, is just one of the various factors influencing the gender-inclusive city. It includes improved mobility, improved hygiene, access, climate resilience, and security of tenure. In addition, it includes experts of gender studies and gender-inclusive principles in urban planning discussions.